Hi, my name is Alex Stone Johnson, aka Vector Melody. This is a Computer Arts Magazine 5 step tutorial. We're going to be looking at time saving techniques within Adobe After Effects. So, things like just general project management and better workflow. Um, I think with a lot of After Effects projects, things can quite get quite big quite quickly, uh, things can get untidy quite quickly, um, and also quite often you have to share projects of rounds so this is just quite good that if you do share this with another designer you're not the person with messy projects also if someone gives you a messy project you can tidy it up quite easily yourself um, and also most importantly probably quite often we have to then revisit our old projects a few months down the line and if we haven't been very tidy we can waste a lot of time trying to figure out our own mess so this is just a, a good technique to make sure that you are organized from the start and you have the same organization within all your projects so let's just get into this project which I've prepared especially for this tutorial um, it's just an old project I've adapted from um, a previous tutorial a few months ago about creating a waving flag within After Effects so here I've just kind of comped up a few different you know of the same design in different colors just some flags just to purely for demonstration sake um, this is where I, I'd just like to demonstrate tidying up a bit. So, you know, maybe these four back flags, I would want to put them in their own composition. So I go to layer, pre compose. And then, as you can see, that, that's now. I've only got two layers in my main composition. The four flags are now in their own composition, which is a sub composition of this. This is great if you'd like to reuse things across different compositions and have duplicates, and you can then use the same source. You only have to edit one source to. You know, affects the whole of your project. Another great use of this pre comp is that I can do a pre render. So if I go to composition, pre render, and then render that out, um, that will just help me when I'm doing a final render. It will just cut down my final render time. So I'm just going to fast forward this because this, this, will, this will take a while. Okay, so back into it. As you can see, After Effects has very nicely put this um, movie file composition directly in place of where our old composition was. Um, this is now a pre-rendered movie, so you know if, if you right-click on this and go sh Reveal in Finder, you see that's that's now just one file. Um, you know this is this this is great because this means that if you want to do this a few times, you can work objectively and finish elements one by one. So it'll just cut down your final render time. Um, but this is where things within this project start to get messy. Um, I've done this a few times. I've created lots of pre comps. I've created. I've done lots of pre renders, um, and now, you know, I don't really know what's really going on here. Um, I think I have realised over the years that you know everything within this composition uh, can be divided into three different sections. Um, so the first folder I would make would be called O1 main comp and in my main comp folder I would put nothing but just the main comp which is this this composition here um, you also notice that I've numbered that that's because I, when I do my next one which is O2 work comps that comes directly underneath that now so I can keep the order of my compositions uh, so in here I just put all these different compositions these pre-renders, they'd all come under that category. Um, these ones as well. And all, all of that's looking tidier. Obviously not in here because things are kind of still a bit messy. So I think I'd organise this further by going File, New Folder. Um, and I would divide this into renders. And comps. And if I could put all my comps within the comps folder. And my renders in the render folder. Um, if if I was doing this properly, you know, it'd be really good to further folder these up, and maybe I put a displacement folder or a main flag folder of these ones in, um, a folder with these ones in. Um, but for now, you know, this will do. This is already looking neater, and it just kind of separates everything up quite nicely. My final main folder would be an assets folder which is where everything else would go. I mean there'd normally be a lot more of these but for this there isn't. Um, 
I would probably organize this further as well just for organization sake so maybe an audio folder where these audio files would go and an images folder where these images would go um, there's a stray stray little movie file there which would probably be better off in this folder um, so there it is as you can see everything now is a lot more organized the, the m main advantage of this is I know now I have one folder and one composition file so this is this is what I want to render each time and this hopefully when someone else looks at this they'll know that this is what they want to render as well so hopefully that will help you in your organization in the future um, thanks for watching